Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Dabro, and today we are making a super simple cinnamon cake. It's pretty much a coffee cake. It's very good. Ian's food is all done. So yeah, I really wanted a cake. I really wanted some sweets. So I just found this recipe online and it turned out really yummy. So thank you to the website An Italian in My Kitchen for this delicious recipe. Let's get right into this video. Okay, so first we had to make some sour milk, kind of gross, but it's literally just one tablespoon of lemon juice poured into a measuring cup. Then you fill up the rest of that measuring cup with some whole milk and then you just let that sit out for 15 minutes. Kind of becomes chunky, gross. Now while that milk is sitting out, we're grabbing a small medium bowl, more towards the small, and we're whisking together three tablespoons of brown sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. And we used such a cute tiny whisk to do that. Now just grabbing a large bowl so we can cream together one and a half sticks of softened butter, one cup of granulated sugar, and two eggs until it becomes fluffy. Can we be friends again? I give up. I know. Okay, now putting that large bowl off to the side and grabbing a medium bowl. And in that bowl, we're adding in two cups of flour, one teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And all that just gets whisked up. Now going back to that large bowl and we're just sifting that flour in there as well as slowly adding in that sour milk while all that's getting mixed up. That's what we do. Next, we're gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And again, just mixing that up until it looks fluffy. Next, just quickly preheating that oven to 325 degrees. And then to start assembling that cake, we're adding in a third of that batter into our greased cheesecake tin. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use like a round cake tin for this, but our cheesecake tin is close enough. <laughs> then over top of that batter, we're adding in half of that cinnamon and brown sugar mix, spreading that all out. Add Add another third of that batter over top of that, then the rest of the cinnamon sugar, and then topping that off with the rest of the batter. And we cooked that for about 45 minutes to 50 minutes. The original recipe said to cook it for about 50 to 60 minutes, but I'm pretty sure our toothpick came out clean at around 50 minutes or so. But yeah, it's all done. This is such a delicious cake, kind of crumbly and very sweet. <laughs> I really wanted homemade whipped cream with this, but it ended up not needing it like at all. So that was my bad. <laughs> but also ours ended up with this really delicious like crispy be top. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen, but it did and it was delicious. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you again to the website in Italian in my kitchen for this delicious recipe. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna do a couple more random recipes that we found online and then we're gonna get into this super old cookbook that my mom bought when she was like in her late 20s. So it's pretty old and very weird. So I want to get into that recipe book and try some things out. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.